Viewmasters. It's the podcast that we do. Viewmasters. Talk about movies that we view. Viewmasters. My friend Eric and me, Joe. Viewmasters. Hey, let's start the show. Hey, welcome to the Viewmasters, episode 359, Roadhouse. My name is Eric. My name is Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello, Eric. How's it going? Oh, not too bad. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Excellent. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> did you get your t- throat torn out? I sure did. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> this movie, uh, I knew pretty much nothing about it coming into it. Okay. Other than Patrick Swayze was in it, and people <laughs> love it. Right. And uh, it was uh, not what I expected. <laughs> What did you expect? I don't. I guess I expected more of it to be like him fighting in the bar. Okay, all right. And like maybe an hour and a half long movie of him just cleaning up a bar. I don't know. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, it was. It was uh, much larger than that. It was <laughs> sort of a small town conspiracy movie. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. You've seen the rundown, right? Yeah. What, is this movie like the rundown? <laughs> Uh, or is this movie just like what I imagine the rundown is? Yeah, this this movie is not like the rundown. Okay, although some similarities. Okay, yeah. What what do you imagine the rundown is? I I imagine that it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson or whoever is in the original version. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, just cleaning up a town. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. No. Nope, no. Nope. All right. Never mind then. <laughs> are Are you talking about Walking Tall? Oh, maybe I am talking about Walking Tall. Are they not the same movie? They are not the same movie. Okay. <laughs> maybe I am thinking of Walking Tall. Yeah, that that is uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson cleaning up a small town. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it is a remake of a movie about a guy who cleans up a small town. Gotcha. Yeah. Who's in the original, do you know? Oh, uh, boy. Jodon Baker? Okay. I think? I don't know who that is, actually. Uh, you'd recognize him if you saw him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Kinda. Beth Williams? Uh, <laughs> it is Joe Beth Williams. That would be amazing. <laughs> uh, I believe there's also a TV remake uh, starring Kevin Sorbo. Amazing. <laughs> and fuck that guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, yeah, the rundown is kind of a... Uh, like, like there are small elements of that, and uh, the the uh, the villain of that movie is sorta like the villain in this movie. Okay, uh, but but it's also kind of a Indiana Jones esque jungle adventure type thing. Okay, slash Midnight Run ripoff. Okay, <laughs> I've never seen Midnight Run. Really? Yeah. Jesus. Joe. Or, or Cannonball Run. Uh, you're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all three movies have run in the title and, and this is true <laughs> i have seen run lola run that's good yeah okay. i enjoyed that movie yeah it's a good movie it's been a minute but it's been a really long time yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh roadhouse roadhouse wow <laughs> this movie was fucking awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's also real bad it's not great yeah you're not you're not incorrect with that assessment of the movie it can be both it can be definitely both oh <laughs> uh, d- so when when i had the realization that uh the villain of the movie whose name i don't remember right now rudy north no that's not right Ben Wesley? Ben Wesley, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> what a terrible name for a villain. Terrible name. Two first names, you know he's a bad guy. <laughs> but uh, when I had the realization that that is Jackie Treehorn from The Big Lebowski, <laughs> I was, did you know that already? Did I did you? not. Okay. <laughs> it, it's been quite a while since I've seen uh, Big Lebowski, so okay. I honestly didn't know what you were talking about. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, Jackie Treehorn is the porn magnate. <laughs> In the Big Lebowski. Yeah. 
<laughs> and like when he first came out, uh, Ben Gazar as the actor, when he first came out, I was just like, that, that he, he has he has given me Jackie Treehorn vibes. He's giving Jackie Treehorn, I think is what the kids would say. <laughs> Fuck the kids. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh and then yeah, I looked it up and it was indeed <laughs> Jackie Treehorn. Yep. And it blew my fucking mind. You really did. I thought you got broken. I did for a minute. I really did. <laughs> and then I had to quietly look up who the fuck is Jackie Treehorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because I, for one, do not remember that part of the Big Lebowski at all. I don't know why I remember that part so well. <laughs> It was it was uh, the part where they were throwing topless women into the pool in this movie. Yeah, that reminded me of uh, there's like an outdoor party with a bunch of topless women, and they're like, I don't know if they're on trampolines or like those parachute things that you know people throw you up into the air on it. Um, but that that reminded me like that was Jackie Treehorn <laughs> in a nutshell, basically in this movie. All right, so. Uh, can I just take a quick sidebar on the Coen Brothers? Absolutely, please. <laughs> so I recently watched uh, Driveway Dolls. Okay. The uh, the I believe it's Ethan Coen solo movie. Okay. Uh, and uh, I hadn't seen the uh, you know since the split. Uh, the the other one, Joel. Uh, he did the the Macbeth movie with Denzel Washington. Yeah. Uh, I feel like both of those movies. Uh, perfectly encapsulate who does who does what on which of their movies that's interesting uh because big lebowski is definitely i feel an ethan cohen movie okay especially after watching drive away dolls okay uh and, and you mentioning like the porn magnet and the girls jumping around on trampolines that that just it's the vibe <laughs> <laughs> whereas you know stuff like you know a serious man and uh llewellyn, uh, llewellyn davis you know that's that's uh Definitely, that's, Joel. A, that's definitely a Joel. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Take that for what you will. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I hadn't. I hadn't really thought about. Like, obviously, their their stuff is tonally different from movie to movie. Sure. But I had never thought about attributing that to one of them versus the other. Yeah. So that's really interesting. <laughs> Uh, by the way, everybody seems to have shat upon uh, Drive Away Dolls. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Okay. It's very funny. I, I uh, remember hearing about it. Yeah. And had completely forgotten about it until just now. So yeah. uh, It's streaming somewhere. Okay. By, by Peacock, maybe? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> Two Big Lebowski actors in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Ben Gazzara, and then we have uh, Sam Elliott. Yeah. The the, the stranger. <laughs> or is it the lonesome wanderer? I don't remember what I his character's recall. name is. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Sam Elliott has made a career out of uh, playing characters who show up for like maybe five minutes and then uh, disappear for the rest of the movie. I think so. Uh, between, you know, Big Lebowski, uh, this, which he has a slightly bigger role, but yeah. it's essentially the same. And uh, Ghost Rider. I was thinking of Ghost Rider as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Easily the most electric part of the first Ghost Rider movie is yeah. Sam Elliott as the original Ghost Rider. Who's in it for five minutes and then he fucks right the fuck off. Right. <laughs> you know what? He he knew when the getting was good. It's true. <laughs> Uh, I rewatched it like a half a year ago or something like that. Okay, and it still pissed me off when when he and and Nick Cage like turn into flame and skull guys together. Yeah, and they get to the end destination, and he turns around and said, "Well, good luck." <laughs> it's like, come the fuck on. Sorry. Sorry, the producers only got me for a day. Yep. <laughs> Uh, old man Sam Elliott. Yes. Too, too broken and, and old to, to be a good cooler anymore. Apparently. He is 44 years old. <laughs> yeah, he's, he is not old in this movie. He is younger than me he, in this movie. He is fucking hot in this movie. <laughs> Hell yeah, he is. Holy shit. <laughs> Who is this Daniel Day-Lewis looking motherfucker? I mean, we all talk about his mustache, but, uh, man, his hair. Yeah. 
Jesus wow. Christ. Wow. Luscious and beautiful. Yep. I could only have dreamed of looking like him a year ago. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> uh, best part of this movie. Yeah. 100%. He's pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. Second best part, Keith David for his one line. His one line. <laughs> and blurry shots in the background. Did you Did you not enjoy Patrick Swayze in this? No. No? No. Aw. I think he's bad. I... I thought that he was doing exactly what needed to be done in this movie. <laughs> I haven't seen him in many other things, admittedly. Uh, I mean, I've, I've seen, uh, you know, uh, Dirty Dancing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I've seen that uh, one as well. Which, which I, I think he's quite good in that. Yeah. Uh, Donnie Darko. Yes. Um, boy. Ooh. You've I... seen Point Break, right? Yeah, yeah, I do hate Point Break, though. <laughs> I've never seen Point Break. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Okay. But apparently I'm the only one that thinks that, so... <laughs> I mean, I've seen both The Fast and the Furious and Fast and Furious, True. so I've seen Point Break. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I may have seen Ghost as well, but yep, it's been never a really seen long Ghost. time. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't can't think of any other Swayze's I've seen. I'm sure there probably is something. Probably. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was around for a while. Yeah. Uh, sadly, no longer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, th- I thought he was very good in this, actually. I, <laughs> Given the material that he was working with, I thought he was very good. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, who knows how great a performance uh, director Rowdy Harrington was getting out of him. Was it Rowdy Harrington? It was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, who knows what kind of direction Swayze was getting very true. from Rowdy. Uh, I mean, the whole thing did have a very big TV movie vibe to it. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, it's competent. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't say it's expertly directed. I, I, the scene, uh, when, uh, when Dalton is addressing the staff of the Double Deuce, uh, is akin to the scene where Alec Baldwin is dressing down the uh real estate salesman in Glen Gary Glen Ross. Like it felt iconic to me <laughs> in that way. I can see that. Yeah. Be nice. So that's an achievement as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. I th- I think he was making weird faces throughout whenever he was fighting, like he kept hunching over and it was just real weird looking. Yeah. Uh he you know, and for being such a badass, he he didn't really seem that tough. Yeah, uh, he's stitching himself up. He is stitching he's himself up. He's getting shot. He's getting stabbed. He's getting the shit beaten out of him, and not going to the hospital but, except for to pick up his girlfriend. But also, like losing every fight, almost. <laughs> I mean, he's outnumbered most of the time. Sure, but you know, like like Sam Elliott comes in and saves him. His other bouncers come in and save him. Yeah. Yeah, he's just, uh, like, like he barely wins the fight against Anti-Dalton. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He wins that fight pretty fucking definitively. <laughs> well, he does. <laughs> it takes a while. Yeah, it does. It's, it's, I thought that was a really good fight. <laughs> I really did. Okay, I guess my problem with it is that earlier in the movie, he makes a point of saying, kick a guy in the kneecap. And you'll bring the biggest man down. Yeah. And he never fucking does that. He kicks Jackie Treehorn in the kneecap. Yeah, that guy is like 70. <laughs> that guy's the biggest man in town. And a full foot shorter. The biggest man Patrick in town. Swayze. He he is fucking Mr. Potter and it's a wonderful life. <laughs> he runs that town. There's nobody bigger in wherever the fuck Missouri I believe so. They are. Jasper, Missouri. There you yeah, go. Just outside yeah. of Kansas City. Yeah. Yep. Which has four buildings and apparently a Ford dealership. Right. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> oh, that sequence. I mean, that really paid off Chekhov's monster truck, didn't it? 
<laughs> like, if, if there's a monster truck in a movie in Act 1, by Act 3, that monster truck will have crushed some cars. <laughs> it does indeed do that. <laughs> Oh, man. (laughs) Holy shit, this movie. (laughs) Uh, And also, uh, who's the female lead? Kelly Preston? Kelly Gillis? I I think it's Kelly Gillis. Okay. Yeah. Either way, she's also terrible. She is pretty terrible. Yeah. I will will give you that. I am going to verify. Okay. Yeah, she is... She is not great, that's for sure. Um they 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 have no chemistry. I'm sorry. Kelly Lynch. Kelly Lynch, okay. Yes. Uh yeah, no no chemistry. Uh in fact they look queasy around each other. Yeah. Like like physically ill. <laughs> and it was weird and gross. It was weird and gross. Uh like like even beyond their sex scene, uh, which was super weird and super gross. Every other scene between them is just terrible. Yeah. Uh, she she does okay with Sam Elliott when they're dancing, though. Yeah. 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 But I think that's just Sam Elliott making everybody... He just... You raise all water, Sam. Sam Elliott is magnetic in yeah. this movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real bummer that he dies. <laughs> Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the movie sort of sort of turns a corner when Sam Elliott dies. But also, I guess maybe it was before that. It was when uh cuz Sam Elliott dies after uh Reverse Dalton dies, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's when uh when Emmett's house gets set on fire. Yeah. Is I feel like when it it becomes something different than what it was up until that point. Yeah, uh, at that point, it becomes pure revenge drama. Yeah. Uh, prior to that, it was just sort of, you know, uh, I guess, you know, man going up against, uh, you know, the entire system kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, beyond even just being a pure revenge drama, it becomes, like, ultra-violent. Well, sure. Like, Paul Verhoeven directed the the last, you know, 25 <laughs> minutes of this movie. That would have been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the sex scene between, uh, between Dalton and Doc <laughs> kind of reminded me of Showgirls. <laughs> Haven't seen it. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah. But it has, it has a ridiculous sex scene in it. All right. Several, actually, now that I think about it. Well, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, when he rips that guy's throat out, <laughs> it was startling. Uh, So, so I'm shocked that you didn't see that coming. Yeah. Because uh, cause they do talk about it like in one of the very first scenes. They do. You're right. Uh, and also, I just assumed it was like one of those, like, that's, everybody knows that's a thing that happens in this movie. Okay. Is that Patrick Swayze rips out a guy's throat. I did not. All did right. not expect that. All right. And, and And as it did with Doc, it made me look at him differently. <laughs> Like, like he's mad, obviously, and he's fighting intensely, but uh, did not, did not really picture him as capable of that until he actually does it. <laughs> and then do you just slowly walk away from him? Oh yeah, yeah. With I, I, I pull back. No expression on your face whatsoever to yeah. to express your disgust. Yeah, it's just all on the inside. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's doing a lot of inside acting. A lot. She, she, I feel like, just appears sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like, in places that she wasn't before. Like, she will just pop up. I'm struggling, of course, now to think of when I first thought that, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean, probably the first time she comes to the roadhouse. Probably. The but, titular roadhouse. But, but, I mean, he had invited her, so, yeah. you know. I, I feel like she comes in... Just randomly appears in the middle of a fight at some point. <laughs> and is just, you know, stock disappointed in him. Sure, yeah. 
She is very judgy of him. She is. Yeah. Extremely. <laughs> well, he is a straight up murderer. Well, of so. course. Yeah. <laughs> but it was self defense. That's true, it was. <laughs> I will say that is one thing I like about this movie. Yeah. Uh, which, I mean, I don't want to say that I dislike this movie because I did not. It's, yeah. it's, it's a hell of a lot of fun, but it's also a very bad movie. Yeah. Um, but I do like in particular that uh, not everything is spelled out. Yeah. Uh, like, like, like when he first comes to town and then he goes out and buys the beater car and the extra tires. Yeah. Like like you know you're kind of wondering what what is he doing? And then like very quickly it's like, like just by by being shown, you know, that it's because he knows that everyone's going to hate him. Yeah. Uh and he doesn't want his nice car <laughs> fucked with. Yeah. And it's like, "Oh, okay, this is clever. It is really smart." Uh and, and I like that he didn't just explain it outright. Yeah. Uh and uh uh the 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 scene where uh after hanging out all night, uh Dalton and Wade and Doc are like in the uh the breakfast cafe. Yeah. That serves beer. Yeah. <laughs> Where Joe Latrulio and his family are having yes, breakfast. Of course. Uh, you know, uh, him and Wade are having a discussion that, like, it is about the fact that he tore out a man's throat and had to went on trial for it and all that. And uh, it gives you the backstory without really beating you over the head with it. Yeah. Uh, or, or doing a cheesy flashback or anything like that. It, I. I, I like stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. I did think that was that was handled very well. Yeah. Um you know, and and I certainly don't want to say that this movie is smart, but <laughs> <laughs> there is some there's some smart writing yeah. in there. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh and <laughs> smart writing such as she could suck start a Harley. And I used to fuck guys like you in prison. <laughs> Which is a really interesting interesting slam in the middle of a fight. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't... Uh, <laughs> I mean, way to be out and proud? Yeah, I guess. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make uh, Dalton ripping his throat out and murdering him a hate crime? Possibly. Okay. <laughs> then I'm I'm even less on Dalton's side. <laughs> uh, you know another thing that I liked about this movie, uh, being a fat guy, yeah, is that there are several uh, large uh, men in this movie, and they are never body shamed. Yeah, uh, they are never called out for being fat. Yeah, uh, they are all in the middle of the action at most times. Yeah. Uh, you know, it made me appreciate that. One, one of them has one of the best laugh lines of the movie. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. No, that was nice. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, just a very thoughtful, <laughs> introspective movie. Yeah. With one black person, Keith David. Sure. <laughs> Who has always Who has one line. And has one line. <laughs> yeah. But it is unmistakably Keith Davis. Absolutely. When he speaks. I feel like there was probably more with him. Probably for... Why would you get Keith David? I feel like he's he's credited, kind of. Like, he gets his name solo on the screen. Alright. And, and yeah, he's just... One line. <laughs> Weird. Yep. <laughs> I mean, good for him. Yeah. Ho hopefully it was a decent payday. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he had to have been there for multiple shoots. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. He's in. He's in. You know, maybe from the back half of the movie. Yeah, he's in. He's in quite a few scenes. Yeah, I mean, basically, once they they fire the the original scumbag bartender. Yeah. There, there's no real indication of what the timeline of this movie is. Like, how long? How long does it take? I mean, there are a lot of renovations that happen. To it, the double deuce months yeah to turn that place into what it becomes right <laughs> easily you gotta you first you gotta turn over the clientele basically yeah you can't just fix that in a week that's mm. gonna take a year minimum right <laughs> <laughs> 
And yet everyone still treats Dalton as if he has just shown up in a town. Right. And he's just fucking with everybody's shit. <laughs> he is just murdering the status quo by ripping its throat out. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes the status quo needs to have its throat ripped out. This is true. Yeah. I cannot argue against <laughs> that at all. Sometimes the status quo needs to be shot hilariously at least four times by four different people with four different shotguns. This is also true. <laughs> <laughs> the shotgun's quietly hidden away. Right? Yeah, just just carries them off. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there will be no investigation into this. Nope. <laughs> Or into the murder of Johnny. That is the only time in this movie that cops show up. It's true. <laughs> I expected, like, the day after Dalton kills that dark Dalton. <laughs> like, oh, he's gonna be arrested because Jackie Treehorn owns the police in this town. Right. Why is why is that not what happens? <laughs> maybe Jackie Treehorn doesn't own the police in this town. Maybe. Yeah, you know, they... I mean, maybe they just let him get away with shit, but, but uh, you know, they're not on the payroll. I, I thought he said, or I thought at some point, because it's when they're talking about trying to pin the uh, the fire at the garage on him. Oh, okay. And one of the one of the townsfolk is like, he's got the sheriff's department in his pocket or no, something like okay. that. So, yeah. yeah. yeah it's I don't possible. know. Yeah. I, I nodded off a little bit. I get it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't blame you. <laughs> Uh, that was, uh, I would never go to that bar. <laughs> no. Yeah, absolutely like, not. Like, like in any condition that it was in. Yeah. Uh, for one thing, it was just way too brightly lit. Yeah. <laughs> not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think, uh, when I was a kid, <laughs> I thought that all bars were like, the bar that the Blues Brothers play uh, in the early part of Blues Brothers, like the country and western bar. Sure. Where yeah. all they play is raw hides. Yep, yep. And that, that place had... And Stand By Your Man. And Stand By Your Man. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that place had, I mean, just the, the cage in front of the stage. The chicken wire? Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. So, like, I, me I remember going to a bar that was not like that <laughs> and and being real surprised. <laughs> Uh, well, I grew up with my dad <laughs> taking me to bars. Okay. <laughs> That's so, cool. Yeah. <laughs> it really kind of was. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds kind of fun. Uh, I mean, I've, I've always had a fondness for bars. Uh, I don't think you could pay me to go to one right now. Okay. <laughs> Just, uh, I have been, there, there's a nerd bar in town. Uh, D20. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I, I enjoy that bar. It's quiet. Okay. You know, uh, maybe that's the bar where Dalton was at in Dayton. Maybe. The, the shithole. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> uh, which makes me wonder, what's the deal with that band? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, like I, I thought mean, about because they play every night. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, they're and they're the house band for the, the double band. deuce. Yeah, but apparently also have traveled around. Sometimes with Dalton. Yeah. Sometimes with Wade. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what a weird world uh, this movie takes place in. Yes. In which apparently. Bouncers are hot commodities for bars. Yeah, you build like a reputation across states <laughs> as a bouncer. <laughs> yep. Or a cooler. Sure, yeah. Which I saw the movie The Cooler with William H. Macy. That is not what a cooler does in that movie. Yeah, that's a different type of cooler. Very right? different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not sending me to the cooler. <laughs> also a different type. Cool. Yeah right yeah yeah um yeah I I mean have you ever explicitly seen like a bar fight or just bouncers at a bar or anything like that I don't think so yeah yeah, yeah. like I've seen like you know the weekend bartender have to like watch the door 
at yeah. a bar or something like that, but never like just outright. These guys are bouncers. Yeah. And then there's always that guy in the corner who's just watching over everybody. Yeah. No, definitely never, never seen that. Nope. Then again, you know, what, what do I know? I, I guess I wouldn't know Dalton. I mean, the 80s were a crazy time. This is true. So many mullets. <laughs> this movie is full of terrible hair. It really is. <laughs> Except for Sam Elliott. Ex- of course. Yeah. yeah, no, his hair is perfect. Yep. Yeah. He's He was kind of on the cutting edge of the 90s there, wasn't he? He kind of was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Holy shit! I f- I feel like I feel like I've been through something watching <laughs> this. And it was a roller coaster of feelings and thoughts <laughs> as the movie progressed. Sure, and and turned very violent. <laughs> I mean, it did warn us right at the beginning. It did that there was going to be gratuitous violence. That's true. Or graphic violence. Graphic violence. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just nudity, though, not gratuitous nudity. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was plenty of gratuitous nudity. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it was gratuitous enough. <laughs> yeah. How could they? How could they have made it better uh, or more gratuitous? I mean, the entire. The, I mean, the double do should have just been a strip club. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe in the Jake Gyllenhaal remake, it is. Ooh. <laughs> Are you have any interest in seeing that now? Nope. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Uh, isn't it a Doug Lyman movie or something like that? I have no idea. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. He's made some decent movies. He has, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah I still think I'm good. Yeah. I don't know. There there was uh, an article that came out uh, that, uh, you know, like like I had, uh, I mean, even after watching this, zero interest in seeing that version of the movie. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, he was interviewed because... Uh, Apparently, he was told that uh, it was going to be a theatrical movie, uh, and, and then it just got really straight to, uh, you know, Amazon uh, Prime. Yeah. And uh, he was not thrilled with that. Yikes. I uh, bet. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the, the points that he made, I was like, you know what? After reading this, if this came out in theaters, I absolutely would go see it. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't, and, uh, you know, I still have no interest in saying <laughs> it otherwise. I would go see a re-release of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> before i go see the remake in theaters well that's fair too i feel like <sighs> riff tracks is doing this movie soon are they i think so i feel like this movie might be riff tracks proof <laughs> i don't <laughs> <laughs> i think this movie knows exactly what it is i don't think so no no okay uh, yeah, i really don't you don't think rowdy had the foresight <laughs> to be like, I know what this is. Nope. This is nonsense. Nope. I, I I really don't think so. And 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 uh Dalton is Batman. He does have a very Batman moment towards yes, the end. He does. Uh no, I th- I think uh everybody thinks this is uh high art uh serious drama. Okay. Yep. Wow. Yep. I don't know about those people. <laughs> I think maybe only Sam Elliott knew. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I do. I do have a friend. Uh, he was uh, one of my professors in college, and then we became friends after I graduated. That's weird. That was fine. Okay. He was cool. I liked him. He was my thesis advisor, so uh, we got to know each other. But uh, he was on Jeopardy actually for a few episodes, All and right. uh, and uh, one of his interesting facts was that he loves the movie Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> which maybe was was not a common thing in i don't know 2012 or whenever it was that he was on there uh, i don't know i feel like like this movie has had the, the the sort of stupid fun you know uh reputation for for a little while at okay. least uh so so maybe 2012 is, is kind of the right time frame for at least that to start gotcha being in the culture 
Uh, prior to that, no, I don't think so at all. Do you think maybe he started that with his uh, appearance on Jeopardy? It's very possible. It, it, it finally gave uh, fucking nerds <laughs> license to be like, <laughs> yeah, I do like Roadhouse. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Last thing nerds need is license to do anything <laughs> publicly, though. <laughs> well, either way, Bill, I salute you. <laughs> yeah, Bill, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. <laughs> uh, uh, no, you know, I mean, honestly, I mean, we, we kind of discussed this last week. I, I would never have watched this movie had you not picked it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I know the reputation of it. And certainly curious about it. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it was just like I can, I can give this a miss. Yeah, I probably would not have picked it had they not remade it. Right. Like that reminded me enough about it to be like, oh yeah, that is sort of. It feels like a blind spot. Yeah. So yeah, it made made me curious to watch it. I mean, I'm certainly very glad we watched it. Yeah. Uh, and and I would totally watch it again. And and if Rotrex is doing this, I will. Very much try to go see that myself. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, I definitely don't think it's your tricks proof. <laughs> Agree to disagree, sir. <laughs> I think it is rich, <laughs> full, shock full of of riffing to be done. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, I loved this. This was awesome. It was pretty great. <laughs> But it's also just a very bad movie. It's, it, it is what it is. It's Roadhouse. It is Roadhouse. Forget it, Jake. It's Roadhouse. Jono? <laughs> yes, <Right>. exactly. <laughs> That's what his agent said when he was like, I think I'm going to make this movie. <laughs> and then he did it anyway. Yeah. Uh, I do want to know, like, you know, is he, like, doing the coked up kind of thing like he did in Ambulance? Or? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, like, like, how's he playing it? He just, he's, he always makes a weird choice. Yeah. <laughs> I saw, uh, I saw a trailer for a new movie with Tom Hardy in it. And, uh, I don't remember what the movie was. Okay. All I remember is Tom Hardy's doing a voice. Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to find out what that movie is. Right. So I can go watch it. And whatever Tom Hardy's doing in it. <laughs> Oh boy! Yeah, Roadhouse. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It's it was fun. really fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh for some reason I don't know why, but he, he also just kept reminding me of Corey Feldman in this too. Patrick Swayze did. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Just some of the facial expressions he was making. Hmm. His overtly large head, the mullet. Uh, his head is a little too large for his body, isn't it? It really is. His, yeah. He is very, very skinny in this movie. He he has a dan he's a dancer. He's yeah. got a dancer's body. Yeah. Uh but his head is ginormous and the hair isn't helping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rest in peace, sir. Indeed. You you were great in this. <laughs> uh is anything making you happy this week, sir? Oh boy. Uh, you go first. Okay. Uh, well, the aforementioned trailer uh, with Tom Hardy, uh, <laughs> I saw before a viewing of The Fall Guy oh, this past weekend. Okay. That movie was fucking great. I really want to see that. It's so good. <laughs> and, and, and kind of like Roadhouse, just a lot of fun. All right. Um, and it, I mean, it's, it's directed by a former stuntman. And all of the stunts are practical. Nice. Uh, and, you know, practical effects. And, and and Ryan Gosling is wonderful. And Emily Blunt is wonderful. And, and everyone is wonderful. <laughs> it's just, it's so fun. Uh, yeah. I, I want I want people to go see it. Because I, I, I want to see more. I, I really wanted to see it. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll make a special effort to go to it. Uh, maybe this week. It's worth a trip. Yeah. For sure. Uh, it's worth seeing on a big screen, I think. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was never like a fan of the TV show or anything like that. But but the trailer, I thought, looked good. And Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was aware of the TV show in as much as I knew there was a TV show called The Fall Guy. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd, I'd never seen any of it. Um, <laughs> went in completely fresh and was not disappointed. Excellent. 
Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, All right, your turn. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. There's free comic book day. Yeah, there was. You got some toys. I did get some toys. Uh, I would say probably the toy thing. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I got uh, uh, the, the, the McFarlane uh, Toy Company uh, put out uh, a Blue Beetle Superpowers figure and uh, a Blue Beetle bug, his bug ship. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, if the listener does not know, I am a huge Blue Beetle fan. He is my number one favorite superhero. And uh, it was very exciting uh, to, to have these things released. Uh, things that I honestly never in a million years thought would exist. Yeah. The, like, like I, I hoped that they would do a Blue Beetle figure. Sure. The bug ship. It was shocking. I could, could never have imagined that mm. ever existing. Shocking. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like... Was it you, maybe, who sent me when, when the Blue Beetle movie came out? uh the 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 movie that i you know even though i have seen uh mostly by accident uh but but had zero interest in uh i feel like some places like if you went to see it in the theater they had like special like popcorn or or drink bucket i think i think amc theaters had like a bucket topper yeah that was like the bug ship basically and yeah. maybe it opened up i don't know if it had popcorn in it or like you just reached through it to get to the popcorn <clears throat> like the dune mouth yeah yeah <laughs> vaginal mouth right yeah cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly how i want to eat popcorn <laughs> the thing i imagine like putting my hand in to take a handful and then as I take my hand out, it's just like knocking pieces out of my hands. Right. Like, you took too much. <laughs> Which maybe I need that, honestly. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe popcorn's relatively healthy. I, I suppose. <laughs> the butter's not. That's yeah, true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that was AMC Theaters that did that. And, and I th- yeah, I think you showed me like a video and like I feel like it was like a kind of... It did open up and then like it was detachable from the lid. So it yeah. was like, kind of like a toy. And I was like, oh, man, that that would be so cool, but I'm not going to go see that movie. <laughs> and also, there's no AMC theaters around here. Yeah. Um, and so when when McFarlane announced they were putting out the bug ship, I was very, very excited. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I, I'm not as much a toy collector as you are, but, but uh, you know, those those were musts. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you have them before I do. Yeah. So congratulations. Well, you have you have bested me. You you have other stuff before I do. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have the 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 cool ass Brainiac ship. True. I mean, I I don't have it yet. Oh, I thought you did. No, no. The my my set of that wave has not shipped yet. Oh. Yeah. I don't. I the the only ones that I have are the ones that I uh, ordered from Amazon as extras for customizing. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Right. So okay. So you have like. I have I have a Brainiac and I have multiple kilowogs. Gotcha, and that's gotcha. it so far right. from that wave. Okay, I, I misunderstood. I thought you you got the the cool looking Brainiac with the Brainiac cool looking Brainiac ship. I have that coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm remember on that. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like that one too. It is cool. <laughs> not cool enough that I, I was willing to get it. Not not if I'm going to get the bug ship. Sure. Uh, you know, got too much stuff and not enough places to put it as is. So, yeah, yeah. Same. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, you're moving. You'll you'll have more room now. Huh? Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm just saying, you you and your partner consolidate offices. True. And then you have a full extra spare room. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I don't know. We might drive each other nuts trying yeah. to work in the same space. Let's then go out to the living room. Yeah. <laughs> then what's the point? Of- okay. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Do you have a movie in mind for next week? <laughs> You're making me crazy. Uh, I do have a movie in mind for next week. Excellent. Uh, you seemed uh, real disappointed in uh, the last zombie movie that I picked. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to pick another zombie movie. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, this one's a Japanese movie. Uh, and it is called One Cut of the Dead. Okay. Interesting. Yep. 
is it the samurai zombie movie? No. No, no swords? No. Okay. Not not that I recall. I imagine one cut of the dead having swords well, involved. Sure, sure. Like Michonne. Right, yeah. Is it a Michonne movie? That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, is no. it the ones who live? No? I, I don't know what you're talking okay, about. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> That's the Rick and Michonne Walking Dead TV show. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I guess uh, Andrew Lincoln just hurting for some work then? Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, they haven't made a Love Actually 2 yet, so. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right. One Cut of the Dead. One Cut of the Dead. Excellent. All righty. All right, well, until next week, uh, I hope that you keep living your life a quarter mile at a time. (laughs) Goodbye. What? (laughs) It was perfect before. Why Why am I trying to replace perfection? Why would I ever try to come up with something better than that? It's, it's, it's... Moronic. <laughs> I'm never gonna come up with anything better than that. Okay then. <laughs> so that's it. All right. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for listening to the Viewmasters. You can subscribe to the show directly at our website, view.guttertrash.net or on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Visit our website at view.guttertrash.net for information about our Twitter and Instagram. Once again, thank you for listening to The Viewmasters. We'll see you next time.